Yo dudes, got another off meta build, Frozen Death Knight. Melee Necromancer that leans into cold damage and cold uh, procs, okay? So this dude, first of all, he looks the part, right? He looks like an, a Death Knight of some kind, almost like a winter is coming type uh, enemy, you know? And check out all the blue gear I have that I've procured. I pulled that shield that you see there off the last ladder, as well as this diadem that you see in the inventory there. And basically, the concept is we're going to be a, a melee character on the Necromancer. And it can be difficult to be melee with the Necromancer. If you've seen some of my other builds, you really got to stretch um, the gear and the skills on a Necromancer as much as you can to make melee work for them. And... This one is really fun. It's really cool. The concept is cool. I haven't seen anyone do this before. And I think I got it all together. It's probably as good as I can get it for like what I have online here, you know? So first of all, let's, um, I guess let's go over the skills before I forget. Um, I'm using the bone rune word in a scarab husk. I made it in a scarab husk because I never have used that before and it looks kind of dope on a necromancer. So, um, yeah, and it has a 15% chance to proc Bone Spear on Strike, level 10, and 15% chance to cast level 10 Bone Armor when struck, 2 to Necromancer skills, 129 mana, 30 all res, damage reduced by 7. Like, not bad for what we're trying to do here, you know? So, I did synergize the Bone Spear with Max Bone Wall, Max Bone Prison, Max Bone Spirit, 2 into Teeth, and all of that will synergize the Bone Armor, uh, fully. So the Bone Spear could get more synergy from Teeth, but I didn't have enough points left over, basically. So, sitting at level 10, it'll do 584 magic damage on when it's when it casts. And the Bone Armor will get will absorb 755 physical damage. Alright. Curses 1 point wonders all the way down to lower resist. Summoning max skeletal mage with 4 points into skeleton mastery. When, when I swap, I can get it up to level 15. Um, I have a level 12 clay golem level 12 blood golem level 12 iron golem and level level 10 revives because when i swap it only is 10 you know so we will you know well, i'll use a blood golem i think it helps me sustain the best actually so we'll cast him i won't pre-buff and spend all time doing that for this run you know i'll just just go as is there's too much inventory to like actually swap it all you know so let's go over some of the gear then uh Nightwing's Veil. This thing's got a minus five plus four facet in it. It's what I had at the time, and I just have never upgraded it. But it did roll, like, perfect on everything else. Like, I'm pretty sure the dexterity is, per is perfect, and the cold skill damage did roll 15. Um, two to all skills, nine cold absorb. Really nice, and we got the facet in there. Here's what I, the shield I pulled off the last ladder. It was just the base, and then I had two perfect cold facets. Traded a burr rune for the last one, and then I found... Uh, while trying to get that last, or after I got the last facet, traded a burr rune for it, I found a perfect bone break and traded that for two burr runes. So it came out on top. Anyway, check out this cool shield. It's blue. It's a uh, Artisan's Gothic Shield of Frost Shield. Adds 72 to 114 cold damage. Minus 15 plus 15 to cold skill damage. 5% chance to cast level 3 Frost Nova when struck. Sweet. Alright. And then we also have the voice of reason in a phase blade. So first of all, phase blade's the fastest base. It's indestructible by its nature. It's blue, so it fits the theme. And I had one that had four sockets with a 6% enhanced damage. So I decided to roll this in there. Um, and it rolled pretty decent. 375% damage to undead. 318% damage to demons. Um, and that pairs nicely with the laying hands there. 350% damage to demons with the 20% increased attack speed. And they're blue. Uh, and notable on this is the 100 to 220 cold damage with minus 24% to enemy cold resistance. And, you know, cannot be frozen there. Cannot be frozen there. Cannot be frozen there. Okay. 15% chance to cast level 13 frozen orb on the voice of reason. And 18% chance to cast level 20 ice blast on striking. So with all of our facets and everything, we have 34% to cold skill damage. Minus 44% to enemy cold resistance. Conviction on the Mercenary, 
and we'll have lower resistance minus 55 percent resist all so we will be well into negative 100 percent for enemy cold resistance mercenary flickering flame infinity f man catcher and a treachery he doesn't have any life steal because i have life tap which i will use and then he has blessed aim because we need attack rating pretty bad all right went over the armor amulet is high lords for the attack speed the deadly strike the one to all skills and we needed the lightning res and so 20 percent on the gloves here 20% on the amulet gives us 40% attack speed, which gets us to the second to last breakpoint. To get to the last breakpoint, I do have a metamorphosis, which I pulled over from the last ladder, in a diadem. So I swap to that, switch over to a beast, get the mark of the bear. I get that physical damage received reduced by 20%, and I get the attack speed plus 25%, which is really nice. So we get to the max breakpoint and the damage reduction. And then I swap back over to the other gear, and you can either stay, I can either stay in bear form to be a little tankier, or I can switch over back to human form so I can cast my curses and everything. Um, boots are gore riders. I did want to use these because they're blue and they give lightning res. Um, and you know, but honestly, I was noticing that the gore riders were just helping me clear a little bit better. Um, Torch and Annie, uh, 16, 13 Torch, 12, 19, 10 Annie. And then I have a 72 Cold Rupture. This Grand Charm, 127 attack rating, 24 life. Another Grand Charm, 9 max damage, 62 attack rating, 31 life. And then check out the charms. Um, this one's got cold damage, life, hit recovery, cold damage, cold damage, poison, cold damage, cold damage, life. Cold damage, cold damage, dexterity, cold damage, cold damage, poison, cold damage, dexterity, cold damage. Uh, this is lightning resistant, lightning damage, cold damage, lightning resistance, life lightning resistance, cold damage. Okay? So, um, on the sheet, it doesn't look like we do a whole lot of damage, but remember, we're reducing their cold resistance by like 100%. Okay? Um, two Raven Frost. These are the best that I could find on my other characters and mules and stuff. 20 dex, 243 attack rating on that one. 19 dex 248 attack rating on that one and then i this is the best snow clash that i have um this has cold damage on it and cold absorb um and sort of the raven frosts and this one rolled 18 blizzard when struck um and it can roll pretty low i think like 12 or 14 and the highest i think is the level 19 but anyway when that does go off it does do a decent amount of damage actually with all of our stuff so i think that covers all of that so let's go somewhere easy first like cold planes just so i can kind of show you how i get how i do like play the build because it'll get chaotic pretty fast once if i have a bunch of mages and revives out and everything so basically like first thing is i can use i can use the bone spirit to initiate my first attack and that's 20 2433 magic damage you see that like look at that that just, like, a lot of these weaker enemies, it can just, like, kill them. So, uh, so I will, like, do that. Um, the other thing I'll do is I will switch to the bear to get that going, you know, like this. Okay. And then I can switch back. Alrighty. So, here's the bone spirit. Boom, she's dead. Let's try, let's, let's do another one here. Uh, lower res. Yeah, and I know we're in a very easy area, but I'm just showing you how I play it so that you can see the progression, you know? Um, just so that it doesn't get too chaotic. Let's lower res this chick. Alright, here, life tap these guys because I lost a little bit of life. And look, I'm maxed out again. Mold crawler just got wasted. Yeah, cool. Alright. So, that's kind of how I'll play that. Sometimes I'll shoot the bone spirit off and then I'll engage, you know, like that. Let me do that on this guy. Here, I'll do it on this guy. Look at that. It just took out It took out that guy. So, there. See that? That hit him and then I hit him and he died. So, bone spirit hit him, then I hit him and he died. Let's cast it on him. Boom. And some of these fallens tend to run away from you. So, anyway... What I like about this is the variety of skills and everything. It's kind of fun to cast Bone Spirits, cast Lower Res, cast uh, Life Tap. And then I do have my Skeletal Mages that I can summon, right? 
So I can do 10 of those, basically. Okay. So the... I will say... The poison ones are just really bad. Okay. Th like, they're just not going to be good at all. So I will get rid of those. And I will try to get some that just aren't poison. Preferably cold, because that's the theme we're going for. But if we can't get it, that's no big deal. Okay, so we have one poison. I'm just going to get rid of them. <laughs> um, but yeah, so there, look. We got an assortment of them. And with the Conviction and the lower res, man, I mean, they're, they'll do a little bit of damage. Like, they won't be that bad, even though their mastery isn't, like, level 50. Uh, which is, like, what you need it to be if you want them to be any good at all. Okay. So yeah, this is kind of how I would play it then, is, you know, I'm not going to stress too much. Ooh, an Umrune, baby. Yeah. You like that? Do you like that? Oh, yeah. In the cold plains. All right. So, let's uh, continue on to an area that's going to be a little bit more difficult for us. Let's just, let's just ramp up a little bit here. Let's go to... Catacombs level 2, okay? I know we're still in Act 1, but just just cut me some slack here, alright? This is a this is an off-meta build. Very freaking off-meta, alright? So, um, and I'll go, I'll go to like fr Frigid Highlands and stuff after this, but let's just check, let's just try this out first. Because it's fun too. And there's some cool guys to, re to revive down here. Alright, so yeah, like, let's revive these dudes, because those guys are cool. I need a key. And I gotta get my Mark of the Bear back. I think it wore off, so. So let's get that going. There it is. Just like that, we have max attack speed now with physical damage reduction, which is really great. Those things are cold immune. We can't even break them, even with a Sunder, which is kind of nuts. <laughs> Unless it's just like an error and you can. I don't know. I was doing damage to them. Um, there's got to be some champions in here. Yeah, so let's life tap this pack here. So look at my bone armor is up. That absorbs 755 physical damage. Um, and that that really does work well. And so my attack rating, it says I have 95% chance to hit in here. So pretty good. There we go. Let's keep moving. Yeah, and it is really nice, actually, on this to have the bone armor fully synergized and just keep recasting automatically for you like that. Um, you get really tanky with that, especially when you go into bear form and stay in bear form. Uh, so let's lower res on these guys. These guys are usually cold immune, and this is an elite pack, so they're going to be kind of tanky. See that? There he is. Cold, cold enchanted too. And we still took him down pretty good. So. Although, although we had like lots of help, right? So we'll life tap the next group because we did take some damage there. Did you see that? So here we go. Yep. And then here's another group. I'll life tap these guys. And I'll hit up hit them with a bone spirit first and then run in. Here we go. One more. Is that one more there? Oh, there's one more there. Night poison. All right, night poison. You just got chilled to the bone. So, yeah. So this is really cool. I I like. I I do wish it was like a little bit better. You know, <laughs> like maybe the frozen orb could be higher level or the chance to cast could be a little bit but greater. But you know, on like a kickson. Like if you ever saw my cold kicker assassin that uses a uh, flail <laughs> um, voice of reason it does work out pretty good you get him off a lot faster you know so the necro just is, this is just as fast as he can attack like you cannot get any faster than this I don't think um, maybe with fanaticism if it'll take you to the next tier but in terms of like everything that I have on here there's no more attack speed to add or anything um, let me life tap this guy there we go and this guy, my, what are, where, where's like my group? Everybody is like out here. What are you guys doing? 
This is what sucks about not having teleport with a, a necromancer. Okay, yeah, that was weird. They they all got stuck behind the door. Here's this unique broad axe. The gore shovel, not bad for level 14. Mm, here we go. Lower res on these guys. And I'll revive them. See, even though I do cold damage, not all the guys' corpses shatter, so it it ends up being okay. And we're kind of lost down here. I need I only got one more level to go, so we're almost there, but let's see. Hmm. No, we went the wrong way. Bummer. Alright. Well, if you want to just, like, fast forward, like, 30 seconds. That'll probably be a good idea, because then I can be at Andariel. Let's see here. Is it up here? Hmm... No, we went the wrong way again. Dang, dude. Where is it? I mean, you can still see how the build functions, so that's that's kind of the important part. Um, this isn't a speed run of the game, you know? But, uh, let's see here. Here we go, here's a group. Let's lower res them. Since these guys are usually cold immune. Another group here. This guy's immune to physical. He went down really fast. Cool. Once again, we went the wrong way. It's gotta be like right here. Come on. There's, there's nowhere else to go. There we go. Um, so finally made it. Uh, let's life tap these guys actually. Because I was a little bit low. There we go. And I'll revive a bunch of these dudes just so we can have some distractions when we go in. Dude, that guy's name was like Fang the Cold or something. <laughs> no, man, I'm the cold. I am the cold. Okay. Is this Assault Helm? Alright, here we go. Almost there. There's the blizzard. The blizzard went off, that's cool. Actually did a decent chunk of damage on that guy too. Alright. Life tap. <laughs> and let's go after her now. I don't think I'm hitting her. There we go. There it is. You can see the frozen orbs going off. Nice. I have so many of those blue essences I don't even want to pick it up. Okay. Alright, let's go, um... Let's see, let me heal before people die. Yes. Look at that Umrun, dude. Did we get that off, like, Bishy Bosh? Who was that? <laughs> uh, Frigid Highlands? 
We just came in, guns blazing, just blizzard goes off and everything. So these quill rats can really hurt a lot if you're not life tapping them. Um, actually, they can hurt other guys a lot too. There we go. Get a couple more mages back. And I'll revive some of those quill rats for myself. Life tap these dudes. And get in there. Yeah, I definitely want the life tap on the quill rats. Because they have like a thorns type thing going on. You can like really, you can hurt yourself. And they, they just do a lot of damage. Alright, so I'm going to do lower res now. So we can speed up things a little bit. Oh, you know what? I think this wore off. So let's get that back really quick. There we go. So now we're in bear form with with all the cold uh, skills and damage. And check it out. There's Blizzard going off a bunch. I can't cast my curses when I'm like this, though. That's kind of the only problem. But we do have a lot more life. Like, uh, we're at over 2,000 life now. Um, these guys are usually cold immune, too, that we're attacking. Okay. There's the catapult. And this is not a bad way to go, is with, like, this, you know? There's a bone spear to see the, that one off, too. I don't know if you forgot about those, but yeah. It's kind of hard to see. That's what I was trying to say, is, like, it's kind of hard to see everything. See, look at that. Those freaking... Those quill rats, dude. They're, like, it's insane how much damage they do. Like, I, I needed to I needed to go back to human form to life tap. and Because I, I was actually dying as the bear. My sustain was worse as the bear against them than it was human form just being able to have life tap when I need it. So, okay. Here we go. Nice. Uh, let's grab a bunch of these freaking quill rats because... These are, these are actually pretty good. Let's see. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Bunch of quill rats now. Look at them. Look at them go. Like, look at this. If I just attack, look at my health. It's just draining. I have to life tap the quill rats. Okay. Did you know Quill Rats have a higher rune drop table, too? So, not a bad idea to kill them. So Mark of the Bear is still active as well, so we're at the max attack speed frame. And if you want to just see it up close, this is kind of what it looked. This is the attack speed frame. This is as fast as he goes, okay? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, like, not even that fast, right? Like, that's what I'm saying is, like, Necromancer is, like, not easy to get uh, melee, you know? It's quite difficult. You have to have, like, everything just right. Um, I do have other melee. I do have a pretty cool physical damage melee uh, Necromancer on the channel as well, if you're interested. It's, um... It's a rogue melee mancer, I called it. Let me check that out. He has a really cool uh, gear set. He looks super sweet, too. Um, lot, uh, definitely a lot of style points on that one. So you can check that out. And he's physical damage based, and it works out pretty good. I gotta life tap these quill rats, dude. <laughs> and I'll revive a quill rat for myself here. Mark of the Bear is gone again. So let's get that back. Here we go. Got it. So a life tap again. Here we go. So yeah, the life tap is really comes in handy because since it does um, fifty percent of attack damage, even if you have no weapon damage, you know, like you can leech back a bunch of damage, you know 
There we go. My mercenary is like not close enough to me. <laughs> like, where is he? There we go. Because I wasn't getting like. There we go. Life tap to get my health back. <laughs> Dude, look at the quill rats, man. They're crazy. They're absolutely crazy. They, like, just friggin' murdered me almost. There we go. So most of my revives are gone now. I guess I'll grab a few of these. And... There we go. A few more mages. Let's go lower resist on these guys, since they are usually cold immune. And life tap on the quill rats again. Alright. So it's what I like about like summoning characters is trying to find something for them to do. You know? Uh and this is kind of like that. We have some summons around, revives around, and it gives us something to do, which is... Um, wow, that did a lot of damage. Um, it gives us something to do as instead of standing there and casting Corpse Explosion, you know? Which would be better. <laughs> but that's not what we're going for here, you know? This is like, we're trying to like make a concept happen, right? So, that... um. That cold damage would have most certainly killed me uh, if it weren't for the 9 cold absorb on the helm, the 15 cold absorb on the belt, and the 40% cold absorb from both Raven Frosts. So yeah, we have 24 flat cold absorb, 40% cold absorb, with minus 80% to cold resistance, you know. Uh, and, and we didn't die from it, just from all that. Uh, this armor's got... Two sockets and 22 lightning res. Yeah. It's kind of too bad that a rare can't compete. Rare armor especially. I feel like rare armors just need something. Like, like what if rare armors could roll, you know, like up to like 10 or 15, like mastery of some kind. You know, like any of the masteries, like blade mastery. Skeleton mastery, um, cold mastery. You know what I mean? Like, what if, what if, like rare, only, like rare armors could do that or something? I guess it that would. Only thing I wouldn't like about that now that I'm just saying it out loud is then, you know, things like all these faceted bait, like magic armors and stuff would have a little less value. So that would kind of. You know, and then and then there's Ormus robes, I guess. But I don't know. They need like the rare armors just don't have. You know, they just don't have much appeal. Like blue armors are better than rare armors in the end game. You know. Junk jewel there. I'll keep that. So, okay, how are we doing on time? Yeah, so we're like half an hour in. There's the blizzard that went off. So I, I didn't show like a crazy hard area because this build just like honestly, it's not like the kind of build that I want to show myself struggle really hard with. It's more just like, hey, look at this cool character I made, you know? Um, and it's like functioning, you know? Uh, <laughs> and it's expensive. <laughs> But here's the thing. I can use all of this gear that I have on here for another for other characters, you know. This isn't like, oh, you wasted all your time and no, dude, this isn't a waste of time. Like, I can use all this gear on other characters and I can use a lot of this gear on this character with a different setup and skill allocation too, you know. So it's like 
it's not totally wasted, right? Um, but anyway, hope you guys like this one. This is the Frozen or Frost Death Knight. Um, and I had a lot of fun putting it together. It took me quite a while. What's this Sacred Targe? Nothing. It took me kind of a while. So let me life tap everything and then switch to bear. <laughs> and then switch back to my cold setup here. There we go. What's up, Quill Rat? Dude, look at the Quill Rats. The Quill Rats are so strong. There we go. Okay. So I think we're good. We got an Umrun out of the showcase too, which is cool. And here's the Bone Spirits. I could shoot those off if I want to take care of these guys. See, look. <laughs> there. We got them all. Nice. So there he is. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Peace.